You'll start your warm-up with shoulder cars or controlled articular rotations. Get to the point where you're about six inches away from the wall or a little bit less. Palm will face down. You're going to take your hand, move it along the wall, keeping in contact with the wall, and keeping your chest facing forward. You'll go as far back as you can, and then once you reach that sticking point, you'll turn the palm the other direction, and then continue that circle. So then your palm will be facing forward. Then you do the opposite. Turn your palm back, push as far back as you can, flip the hand, and then circle forward, trying to keep your chest forward the whole time. You'll do that three times each direction on each shoulder. Then move into the bird dog. You'll be on hands and knees, hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips. Shoulders are pulled down, back is flat. You'll reach out with one arm, back with the opposite leg, hold for about five seconds, and then switch hands, keeping that tension in the core. Do five of these on each side. And then you'll move into hip cars, keeping this same tabletop position. You'll bring your knee up towards your chest, move it out to the side, and basically make a circle, heel to the ceiling, and then do that five times in one direction sorry, three times in one direction, and then three times in the opposite direction. So this time, knee to the shoulder, into the chest, and then heel to the ceiling, basically circling through the hips. From there, you'll move into a hip flexor stretch. So you'll come up into a lunge position. You'll tuck the hips under to get a good stretch into the hips. And from there, if you want to accentuate the stretch, you can start moving forward. The next stretch is going to be for your ankles. You'll just bring your front foot back. Spread out all your toes on the ground and then move your knee forward to stretch into the ankle, placing your elbow on top of the knee to get it, um, a little extra weight there. You'll hold this stretch for about 30 seconds. For the last part of your warm up, you'll just do 10 squats, splaying the toes out and squatting down in a normal squat pattern. And then after that, you can go into your regular workout.